all right so today we're gonna do front brake pads and rotors on a 2000 dodge durango slt with the uh, four seven liter engine um as you can tell she needs the rotors because she waited so long and that's why you got this orange dust around the rim um i'm hoping that she doesn't need calibers uh, i'll see how how the caliber acts when we start to push it in uh, but first thing you do want to do is uh, get the jack jack stands and let's see here and also you want to put the uh, parking brake on i already have the parking brake on and let's get this wheel up right, let's see yep I'll show you what's next. Once you jack the car up, you want to take off the brake reservoir cap. And then we're going to take off the wheels. Well, lug nuts. Five. Let's see, here we go. All right. All right, and after you do that, take your pry bar and you push this new caliber in. Well, you push the caliber in. There you go. There you go. All right, here you go. Now after you do that, you got a hex bolt here and a hex bolt down here. And after that, you wanna take a seven millimeter hex bit and then we're gonna break these two bolts free. Here you go. Break this one and do the same thing to the top one. See how bad this brake pad was. This thing is pretty much gone. And here's your rotor. Luckily, mine wasn't stuck on there. Okay, here we go. All right, so we're gonna clean this up. Uh, then I'll show you what's next.
if I get this to move. It doesn't really matter, you're not putting these back on her anyway. Be careful not to scratch the boot. Yeah. One second. You're done cleaning that up. You want to take these guide pins and you want to just apply some lube to them. All right. Do the same thing for the top and bottom one. Alright, hold on. These aren't that dirty, so that's why I'm not really cleaning them off. But you do want to uh, get some lube on here. Alright. that back and forth feels good the same thing up top it was good all right next we're going to take our brake pads and we're going to apply them to the brake caliber and then we're going to put the rotor on so i'm going to put lube here Inside, there you go. And then place it on like such. Just push down. Then you take the opposite brake pad, and then you just push this one in. There you go. And now we're going to get the rotor. Place your rotor like such. All right, and after you got the uh, rotor on the hub here, you want to take your brake caliber. And you want to align it so it slides right on, like so. Now that we got the rotor on side the hub and the caliber on the brake rotor, you can take your lug nut. This will stop the rotor from moving. And a lug nut will keep your rotor from moving. And now we can start our hex bits. Start by hand. Until that's in. Now we're going to do the one on the bottom. Start by hand. That's in, and now we can tighten it up. <coughs> tighten this up some. <coughs> Let's loosen it. So tighten. <coughs> now I'm gonna do the bottom one. Take your ratchet and make sure it's tight. The top one. There's your bottom one. 
right and next you put the wheel back on as you can tell looks pretty good and now we're going to put the wheel back on and do the same thing to the opposite side and then we'll go on a test drive There are 19, you want to start by hand. Let's go, there you go. That's on there. Let's see if put it over here. Might be missing one lug nut. I know she was missing one lug nut. And he's back up. All right. Now we're going to do the other side. 